Hello, we're at the Western Antique Airplane and Automotive Museum in Hood River, Oregon. Behind me is a Detroit electric car. It's easy to forget, looking around at all the modern electric vehicles, that the golden age of electronic vehicles was a little over 100 years ago. Around 100 years ago, this vehicle represented the height and popularity of electric vehicles. In fact, during the 1920s, the electric car was quite popular and proved to be a viable alternative to gasoline-driven automobiles. These amazing vehicles proved to be a bridge between the horse and buggy era and what we would consider early modern automobiles. Pictured in the foothills of Mount Rainier is a 1919 Detroit electric automobile produced by the Anderson Electric Car Company. The promotional trip was an excursion from Seattle, Washington to Mount Rainier. The backwards adventure was a practical demonstration of the durability of electric cars. The electronic vehicle was a much simpler design, it had fewer moving parts, and no gasoline needed. The EV had advantages over early gas-powered cars. The EV had to use ad hoc charging stations along the way since none existed at the time. Some of the first electric cars, like most innovations, were developed in Europe at the end of the 19th century. Inventors like Thomas Parker in England, Andreas Falken, and Ferdinand Porsche in Germany developed early electric vehicles, often a cross between a buggy and what we would recognize as an automobile. Porsche P1 had a range of 50 miles and a top speed of 22 miles per hour, this despite weighing 3,000 pounds and only 5 horsepower. By 1920, 30% of the cars on the road in America were electronic vehicles. Early in the 20th century, American inventor Thomas Edison worked to improve battery life for electric vehicles. His design, based on an earlier patent by Swiss inventor Ernst Waldmar, was a nickel-iron battery. This, he claimed, was more durable and could be charged twice as fast as the common lead-acid battery. Edison teamed up with Henry Ford to produce an experimental electric vehicle. Using the frame of a Model T and Edison's battery, Ford engineer Fred Allison developed a prototype that had a reported range of 50 to 100 miles. Unfortunately, the design never saw production as gas-powered vehicles gained market dominance. Although the Porsche and Ford design did not see full production, other manufacturers had been producing EVs for years. One of these was the aforementioned Detroit Electric, producing over 13,000 vehicles from 1907 until 1939. Ultimately, the golden age of the electric car came to an end due to the gaining popularity and efficiency of the modern gas motor. Electric vehicles of that era offered many advantages over gas-powered cars. They gave drivers a safer, quieter ride without the need for gasoline or dangerous crank starting. Today, we may be entering a new golden age of EV renaissance. The days of electric cars being small and ungainly are part of the past. In Germany, they are even researching an e-highway that would allow electric semi-trucks to be charged while driving down the Autobahn. Companies have also been retrofitting electric motors into classic cars for years. In America, of the big three automotive manufacturers, Chevrolet Motors introduced what they're calling an E-Crate motor to retrofit classic cars with electric engines. Since most classic car owners no longer use their car as a daily driver, these electric motor retrofits offer the convenience of easier maintenance and lower cost for their occasional use. For their part, motorcycles have also been leading platforms for electric vehicle research for over 126 years. In 1896, two separate patents were filed in Canton, Ohio and Boston for an electric bicycle. Major companies continue the development of the electronic motorcycle. Harley-Davidson, in fact, is now making a Livewire electric motorcycle that produces 105 horsepower, managing a 3 second 0 to 60 time with a 146 mile range. It seems that every major automotive manufacturer is now embracing electronic vehicles. At the same time, startup manufacturers are also entering the market. This market is ever-changing. In fact, some countries are limiting or outright prohibiting the future sales of gas-powered vehicles. Like the early EVs, today's electronic vehicles will be a bridge between petroleum-based transportation to one that is more sustainable and reliable in the future. The Detroit vehicle here is currently undergoing restoration. If you want to visit the website, see the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe.